Last time, we talked about the filter method on arrays that allows you to throw away array elements that don't fulfill a predicate. Sometimes, however, you're not really interested in throwing stuff away, but rather in whether there will be anything left at all after filtering. And for this very reason, there's some and every. Let's say we have a form with a couple of mandatory input fields. Before submitting the form, we want to make sure that every mandatory field has a value in it. And surprise, we can use every here. Every only returns true when every element in the array fulfills the given predicate. Its counterpart is sum, a method that returns true if there's at least one element in the array that fulfills the predicate. Let's say you have a couple of functions that validate address formats from different countries. In this scenario, all you are really interested in is if any of these validators say that the address given by the user is valid, and not necessarily which of these validators is saying so. So keep every and sum in mind whenever you use these words to describe a condition. In case you missed it, we already had one episode on functional array methods in JavaScript last time. So if you missed that one, you should watch it over here. And if you want to know when the next episode comes out, you should subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications.